There's a ton of changes in the world of Rust right now, and today we're going to be going over some new additions to the game as well as some stuff that's getting reworked. First up on the list is a sneak peek into the physics of the motorcycles that are going to be added to the game, and I would assume that this is not going to be ready for next month's update, but it is cool to see that we're going to be getting this sometime soon. The first TC skin ever is going to be released, and if I'm not mistaken, this is also the first interactive skin being added. In the top left, it shows you the amount of building blocks attached to this TC, the amount of time you have remaining on your upkeep, the cost of the upkeep, and a visual representation at the bottom of the materials inside the tool cupboard. Hopefully this skin is cool enough that it'll stop people from placing boxes in front of their tool cupboards. I'm sure this next one is going to cause an uproar on the Rust Twitter. The minigun is now on staging. It doesn't appear that it's ready to be released next month unless there's some commits that are hidden which haven't been pushed to main yet. As of right now, it pretty much has 100% accuracy with no real recoil or aim cone added to it yet. If I had to take a guess, this is not going to be in next month's patch and will most likely be something you can mount to vehicles in the future. Those are three new things that have been added to the staging branch recently. Now let's take a look at some stuff that's getting reworked. Two huge changes to electrical are coming, with the first being the ability to snap components by holding left shift. And if you have multiple placed down, you'll be able to snap them an equal distance away from each other, as you can see here. The power consumption of multiple electrical components is being removed completely. This basically means that you can now utilize larger and more complex circuits without draining your battery. Hopefully this will reduce the amount of wind turbines that we see, which cause a ton of lag and also just kind of makes sense to have it this way. There's a ton of other fixes coming to electricity that we will hopefully see in the force update. The patrol heli is getting fixed up a little bit. Some bugs are getting smushed and changes to its pathing are being made. And hopefully it'll be a bit more unpredictable and random with the way that it wanders around the map and how it engages with players while being attacked. One of the most notable bug fixes is that after you've died to heli, sometimes it'll still be aggroed on you, and that has been fixed. Bradley is also getting some changes over at launch site, which I don't think is really going to do much to affect the way that people take it. And honestly, after taking it out a few times on the staging branch, it feels more like a visual update rather than anything that makes it more difficult. In that when you shoot four HVs at it or bring it down to about half HP, it will now smoke itself off and four scientists will be deployed. These scientists have the ability to hide behind Bradley and will push you if you hide in things like the ticket booth. They don't pose a real threat or change the way that you take Bradley other than the fact you have to wait for the smoke to go away so you make sure that you hit your next rocket. There could definitely be more scientists wandering around Bradley when he's spawned in. And I was kind of expecting heavy scientists to come out of Bradley. I do like the idea of Bradley having phases though. So maybe we'll see some more boss battle style expansions on Bradley in the future. In my last update video, we took a look at the oil rig moon pools that are being added as well as the changes to harbor and cargo. Each of the oil rig rooms that are at the top of the ladder now have stuff in them. And in this new room on each oil rig at the top of the ladder is a vent that leads to another room. And in this room, you'll find a microphone similar to the one in the underwater labs, as well as a unique computer station with the CCTV codes set up on it for you. Both of the new harbors and the cargo ship have had over 300 commits made to them and is looking like this will be the main event of April's force update. It appears as though the cargo ship is only going to dock once at one of the harbors depending on whichever one is closest to where it spawns at and will stay docked for 8 minutes. The cargo ship also now has doors on the side of it that you can jump to from the side once it's docked at a harbor and it looks like once it despawns it will do what it normally did in the past and leave the map. That's all I got for you guys today. If you could do me a favor and go follow me on my new Twitch account linked in the description below, I would really appreciate that. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, leave a dislike if you didn't, subscribe for more to come in the future, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.